Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. And very good afternoon everyone. Um, can at the back hear, hear me? Okay. Okay, my name is Pinyaran Nazim. I'm the head of underwriting and retail couples department. So I've been working with insurance for 14 years. Um, I started my career as a claim assessor and then moved to underwriting Rita Kaful to write business particularly on the complex one. And from time to time, we worked very closely with uh, the international market on the placement of insurance requirement. Okay. So in TBA, So in TBA, we offer various products from retail products such as Moto Takafuls, student care for those who wish to pursue uh, careers, um, who wish to pursue um, studies overseas, and we even provide uh, coverage for businesses such as workman compensation, public liability, and even complex um, complex products such as um, directors' offices, uh, indemnity, professional indemnity, and as well as, of course, cybersecurity takaful. So today, I will be talking more on cybersecurity takaful. Okay. In our opinion, cybersecurity takaful has been one of the most complex and hot topic discussed in insurance industry. So um, I will not be touching about um, definition of cyber um, attack, definition of cyber threats, malware or spyware. I believe it has been um, addressed earlier. But merely I'll be focusing on the purpose of cyber te security takaful, what are the potential risk, exposure faced by many businesses today, in today's environment. Then we will look at what are the consequences loss or damage to your businesses, how it can disrupt your businesses, such as loss of, loss of turnover, profits, and then how it can affect you financially. And when you have to incur unnecessary expenses such as engaging expert to restore your systems, recovering your data loss in the events of cyber attack. And lastly, I will talk about how business interaction, oh, sorry, I will talk about why businesses should consider cyber security takaful. Um, okay, by a quick one, by definition, let's look at what is the definition of cybersecurity. So, cybersecurity is referring to protection of data, your system, your network from unauthorized access, including data theft and data loss, with the purpose of maintaining, number one, confidentiality. This is to ensure data is not compromised or shared by unauthorized person or participant. Number two is integrity, to ensure data is accurate and not modified. And lastly, number three, avail available, to ensure that data is always available at all times. So cybersecurity takaful is designed to protect company from loss or damage arising from these cybersecurity threats, such as data breach, ransomware. So let's look at today's cybersecurity, cyber risk environment. So according to Identity Theft Resource, ITRC, the number of breach has been increasing 
over the past years. If you look at the slides, in 2017, there was 1,506 data breaches. 2020, 1,108 data breaches. And in 2021, 1,862 data breaches. So this is based on the reported one. So it could be more, um, and it is expected to continue growing. Okay, next, another rising concerns are on the issue of financial losses. According to identity fraud study, the total fraud losses increased to 56 billion in 2020. So it is reported that identity fraud losses were caused by criminal illegally causing, using victims' information to steal money, fraud scammers getting smarter and clever to trick their victims to expose their personal information for the gain. In 2021, it is reported 52 billion, billion fraud losses has been reported. So according to Cyber Security Ventures, the global cyber crimes is expected to grow 15% annually and expected to cost the global 10.5 trillion by 2025. So can you imagine if you are the victims of the cyber attack? Imagine after years of hard work, you lost all your important data, such as your customer contacts, your invoices, for example. So imagine if your server crash, definitely you will want to consider restoring your data losses and to ensure that your operation back running again. But to restore it back, definitely you will have to engage IT expert to handle this, and then you will have to pay and incur expenses. So imagine if you lost all this data, and data is not recoverable, and imagine if that loss is your client's purchase order, and how are you going to track all those data? And let's imagine again, if your, credit, your client's credit card is compromised, so what are the risks that are exposed here? So in basically any businesses are actually potential at risk of cybercrime. So today we are actually surrounded by technologies. So these technologies are in many ways has been assisting us and providing conveniency running today businesses, such as the opportunity to do online banking, online transaction, to do marketing on social media, such as on Facebook, and even allowing us to store data on Google, Google Drive. And today we have been heavily reliant on technology in our daily operations and business continuity. Here we can see how technology has continuously providing us, offering us opportunities and making our life easier. And not forgetting that we can quickly trust this technology. So this is where we are potentially exposed to cybercrime. So what is the options available to the businesses who wants to mitigate this emerging risk? So this is where Takaful Brunei Arm can be part of the solution. Cybersecurity Takaful is designed to protect against cyber liability, cyber threats. So what are we covering? If you look at the slide, we have six coverage here. But the key features of key the key features of cybersecurity takafuls are liability to cover business interruptions, and lastly, to cover crisis response. So let's look at um, the breakdown here. 
what is network security liability cover? So this is where we will indemnify you for expert costs, including defense costs. For example, say your payment gateway is breached and your client credit card is exposed. Say under the GDPR law, you are required to pay all these fines and penalty for violating the data protection. So this is where our cyber, tech, cyber security takaful will cover you. Number two, under the privacy liability, we will indemnify you for the cost or expenses incurred for notification services. Using early example, say your client credit card is compromised. We will pay you the notification, notification cost for issuing notification letter. Say the, cost, say the cost of issuing letter is $5 per, um, per issuance, and you have 100,000 customers. And the total cost that you are expected to, to incur is 5 times 100,000, which is half million. So imagine if there is no takaful, cyber security takaful, then this is coming from your own pocket money. So this is part of the coverage that provided by Takaful Brunei Arm. Next is media liability. Under media liability, we will cover you for errors or omissions. For example, if you are accused for plagiarism or copyright issue. So here, we will indemnify you for defense costs and investigation costs. So basically, we will do the engagement of lawyers to defense your matter. So in, whether, whether, it's a, whether it's a suspect or actual, we are still be there to provide this coverage. Okay, under data loss asset, data asset loss, sorry, the covers includes forensic expert, IT experts and crisis management services, to name few. And lastly, business interruption. This is the purpose of this business interruption is actually to put you back to the same position before the loss, as if the loss has never happened. So, what uh, part of the coverage is we will be covering you for loss of turnover, cost of restoring the, your data, including including ransomware. So these are some of the coverage available under our cyber security, security takafuls. So basically, all these courses and expenses, including credit monitoring, identity monitoring, or other personal fraud or loss prevention solutions are actually coverables under cyber security takaful. Let's look at scenario just to give an understanding, a deeper understanding how this cybersecurity takaful works. <clears throat> so scenario number one is relating to data breach. So this is based on real event, but we prefer to keep the client's names anonymous. So the event details, you can, you can see that the events are number one, laptop was stolen from the business premises. Laptops were unencrypted and content client confidential information. And the trigger point is here, privacy liability and breach cost. So this client actually incurred total losses of 200,000 USD. So how, how does Takaful, cyber security Takaful works if this client has earlier take out the cyber security? So first, first, um, okay, what is required actually um, when, when clients suspect actual or suspect there's a breach of data, what they need to do is they, they just need to report this event to Takaful at as soon as possible. What Takaful will be doing is we will start to engage forensic expert or IT expert. 
So for our, our forensic expert or IT expert will, will uh, eventually contact the client's IT teams to investigate the incident and to analyze the attack's movement to determine the point of entry and to investigate if there is any other malicious act. So if the situation requires us to fly expert, we will do so. We will be also engaging our legal services, legal expert, to defend and to provide the client with legal advices. If there is any liability, that client becomes legally liable to pay. So all of these costs and expenses, including credit monitoring, um, prevention, solution, will be part of the cybersecurity takaful. Next is scenario number two. For scenario number two, uh, this is an example scenario of ransomware attack. So the event details are the insured IT vendors suffered a ransomware incident. Number two, system were restored in seven days from the discovery of the incident and the rest in 14 days. So there was a business interruption suffered by the client here. And the estimated loss suffered by client is 36,000 USD. So under cybersecurity takaful, what we will be offering is, it will be similar to scenario number one, where we will be engaging our forensic expert and IT expert to assist clients in, to investigate the situation. But here, there's a ransomware here. So part of the coverage that available under cybersecurity takaful is, we will be also engaging our ransomware professional expert, including ransomware negotiator. So, so this expert will be there to consult clients and also to, to assist clients to determine what are the next course of action need to be done and what are the appropriate action responses need to be taken. Well, in some countries, ransomware can be illegal. So this is where our expert will be able to provide you with advices. So all these, all these costs and expenses, again, will be covered under cyber security takafolds. Scenario number three, business interruption. So this is an example where business interruption, similar to number two, but this time, the event detail is client hard drive crash, resulting in loss of six months business interruptions, where they, they have they have inability to assess client's information and which resulted um, inability to accept any appointment or to, to see patients for two weeks. So the client suffers business disruption here and the estimated total loss suffered by client is 61,000 USD. So here, for under cyber security takaful, what we will be offering is it, similar to item number one and scenario one and two, except there is no ransomware here, but for business interruption, we will be engaging our forensics accountant or auditors to investigate and assess the losses of turnover, profits, losses during the period of disruption. So imagine if you are not able to operate your business for, the, for six months, you could I mean, and imagine that you, the revenue that you could have earned for the past six months, and on top of that, you have to incur costs and expenses arising from restoring your crash hard drive. So, so those are the losses that are uh, actually exposed to your businesses. So this is where our business interruption cover can mitigate your losses. Just to give an understanding how business interruptions work, just yeah, the purpose of business interruption is to actually to put you back in the same old position as if the losses have never have happened. Here in an example, here in this example, if you look at the dark purple, so that is the exposure that you are facing in the event of your business is disrupted. 
So imagine there's no insurance. So that dark purple will be your losses. And imagine if there is cyber security takaful, that losses will be patched by the coverage. Just to recap, so our cyber security takafuls provide legal liability coverage, including protections against breach of data, protections against pro um, ransomware. It also mitigates your reputational damage in the event that, um, that you need to, say for example, um, this, say for example you breach um, your client's information, there's, there's a leak of client's info information. For example, your credit card, your cre client's credit card is breached or compromised. If you were doing nothing, and um, if you were doing nothing, then you're actually exposed to reputational damage, and, uh, and your client can start not, distrust, not trusting you. Other coverage available would be notification services, as mentioned earlier. So this cost incurred from notification services will be bare under this cybersecurity carful. And lastly, part of the coverage will be to provide consultancy support by our expert. Finally, it is worth noting that cybersecurity takaful is perhaps one of the effective solution you can consider to transfer your risk effectively. So in this digital world, um, Takafu is one of the most effective ways to protect your business against financial losses and reputation damage, damage arising from your cybercrime. So. so here I end up my my presentation here if there's any question